Um, do you know about the Christmas gift game? I'm sure you do. It's a game we play with our friends Annette and Will every year uh, with Christmas or with uh, all the New Year's celebrations. And it's about um, you buy some presents, uh, not too expensive, and um, they go in a big pile or in a big basket or whatever. Uh, there are no names on uh, the gifts, it's not addressed to anyone. And uh, you play this game, you have some dice, uh, you roll the dice and then you need to pick a card. And on that card is an assignment and that assignment could, can be, for example, uh, unwrap a present or take the biggest present from the pile and give it to your neighbor on the left or change seats with the one opposite of you or um, if you already have gathered some presents, it very well can be that an assignment says um, give a present to the neighbor on the right side of you. So, very fun game. We play it every year and in the beginning you have gathered some presents. It's not sure that those presents are actually going to be yours. Uh, just um, until the game is finished, then you know which presents, presents actually are yours. So we play that every year and that's really fun. And this year we are going to play it again. And although we do have such a game, the, actually, the actual cards and the dice and everything, um, I had these old business cards. And I thought it could be fun to try and create my own cards, personalize these cards and do little mixed media projects on them. Um, so this also will count as one of the 100 things challenge because I am using up these old business cards. I have, I have this basket uh, with old business cards uh, and old tags that uh, my son used to use but he doesn't need them anymore so I got them and I thought the business cards would be perfect to um, create uh, my own personalized Christmas gift game. So that is what I'm going to do. Also I'm going to use up some scraps that I have here, some old napkins, pieces of napkins and also uh, some um, you know, I have this basket where I keep my quotes and words and text uh, lines that I cut out from magazines, but also I have some of the Tim Holtz chat stickers and that kind of thing. I keep it all in here. That is also what I probably will use. Uh, the inspiration for these that I already have made uh, came from a Cat Hand um, and these are actually the mixed media morsels and I'm sure you remember I, uh, I created those, quite a, quite a few of those, on beer coasters. Um, I stopped doing them and I'm not sure why. Uh, I had this break for a couple of months while we had renovation here going on here. But I really want to pick it up again because I am not finished yet and uh, I have a couple of more to do. So I'm going to continue this but um, also I thought for, for this project these mixed media morsels are perfect. So. I watched Cat Hand's videos and just copied her, did what she did and created my own version of some of her uh, mixed media morsels and the techniques she used. Uh, of course I will link to her channel and the mixed media morsels in the description box below so make sure you check that out. So um, yeah, I thought for this video I could try and do a couple of these cards. Uh, the assignments will go on this in a later stage. I 
tried a few but I probably will use my Dymo as a label uh, I have the label st sticker thing uh, address labels I can use those for, for the back side with the assignment I'm thinking to do that so um, yeah let's do this and see what happens the first thing I want to do something with napkins it's a mixed media morsel cat hand did with uh, um, using uh, napkins as a background for her morsel so let me gather some stuff and uh, let's start So from here on I decided to do a voiceover because the whole video took me about 48 minutes and I thought that was a bit too long. So I'm forward, fast forwarding uh, the, the rest of the video and do a voiceover. So here you see me uh, picking out some um, tissue paper, some napkins and uh, that I um, uh, had left uh, leftovers from other projects and I'm peeling off the tissue paper on the back um, and because that is quite thin I decided to add some more book text underneath it um, to go on top of the of the business card because otherwise you would see all the text of the business cards and I thought well some book text is nicer to uh, when it shows through than the actually business card. So uh, I'm adding that with the art medium I have, a little brush, and I'm gluing down the book text paper and um, uh, the napkin goes on top of that. So uh, you need to be very careful with that because it becomes very wet and also uh, with the glue uh, with brushing it on you need to be very careful because it easily tears apart and you don't want that. So I picked out a few napkins really because I'm going to do a couple of more and I did those right here. There was this uh, black and white and this blue and white and I did two uh, business cards with the fall leaves, with the autumn leaves. And um, then, and I was totally inspired by uh, Cat Hands videos. I uh, watched a lot of morsel videos again, and um, I learned that with these little morsels, a black and white pen, marker, Posca, Faber Castells, whatever you want to use are uh, your best friends. You really can add some uh, depth and some fun accents and some interesting things to your card when it looks quite dull in the beginning and when you add some black or white uh, pen strokes, scribbles, little drawings, it becomes an old, a whole nother, uh, another card. Um, I want to add some words. Uh, I want to do a little bit more to those cards and I'm picking out some words of which I think they could work very nice on the cards. Um, I, I have to bear in mind because I need quite a few of these cards that I need to keep it simple and not to think and not to overthink it and add too much. Once I have glued everything down, I am adding a bit more of interest with some Faber-Castell uh, markers and the Posca markers, just outlining the, the words and adding some dots uh, around them um, just to make it a bit more fun. This game we had so much fun because often there is a lottery ticket in it. So uh, most of the time our friends buy a lottery ticket to go on the stash of gifts. So um, once we have discovered that, we are all fighting for that present you can imagine. Uh, it never turned out to be uh, a big one though. But uh, yeah, it's great, great fun to uh, 
play that game. Uh, we do it about, well, for sure, for 10 years now, I'm guessing, maybe longer, maybe even 12 or 13 years, I'm not sure. But this time we're going to play it with a celebration of all the New Year's. And uh, we already have a few presents bought, but still have to buy a couple more. And it can be very inexpensive presents. That's the fun part of it. Uh, you can buy some candles or candy or whatever, uh, some, some decoration stuff for the house. And also, uh, we don't mind at all if something comes from a thrift store or, or, or something like that. So um, it's really fun, first of all, to buy the presents and second, to do the game. So finishing my cards right here with uh, some scribbling around the edges and some dots and almost everything is done with the Posca pens and the Faber Castell pens. So, as I said, the inspiration was the mixed media morsels of Cat Hand. And I will link you to, to her channel and also to the morsels. There are new ones up for 2017, uh, which are bigger. She calls them the main dishes of the mixed media morsels. And these uh, small ones were the appetizers. And uh, a great series, a great series of uh, art journaling and mixed media. So really check that out. So this was a, a, this was it for me this time, uh, making these uh, fun cards and counting for the 100 Things Challenge as well. Hope you enjoy it and see you again very soon, guys. Bye bye. Have a great day.